dog bed I bought doesn't fit it's too small um, so I got to figure that out I'm not even mad that the papers wrinkled I feel like it's a little cute and vintage and I left the wood grain down here showing through a little bit I liked that um, here in a second I'm gonna put this light on the roof we'll push light it's gonna get bright and then I'm going to do a couple of um, coats of, I think it's poly satin clear for the top just to keep it, you know, from getting damaged and maybe on the sides too. Because the spray paint, one thing I found about the spray paint is it just, I don't know, I, I'm not much of a spray painter. I should have done chalk paint, which was my original idea. Um, the spray paint just kind of made things a little rough I guess I don't know so I'm gonna put a couple of coats of of uh, it, well like I said I think poly satin but I'll show you guys a picture of that in the supplies I used so it's not poly satin it's a uh, minwax water-based poly acrylic protective finish and clear satin and uh, it's almost gone so I'm probably gonna have to get more of that before I do the sides but I just dip the brush in it and um, just lightly put a coat on there. Kind of helps seal and protect from, you know, people putting drinks on there and stuff like that without a coaster, which is a big no-no in my house, my mom's house. I know, we're dorks. We also fold our towels differently than anybody else, too. Let me see, we might have enough to do one side just to kind of even out the paint and make it less rough. There's a dog hair, of course. Well, wouldn't be a dog bed without a dog hair stuck in the poly. We're not going to keep it there, though. To be returned. <laughs> 